In this topic, we're going to have a look at the two different types of crust within our top layer of the Earth. This is really important as it will allow you to understand how and why it is that your plates move in the different ways that they do. This won't be specifically referred to within your exam questions, so they won't ask you about a question specifically about either the oceanic or the continental crust. However, you will need to know the properties um, to be able to explain why your different plate boundaries behave the way that they do. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to look at these two different types of crust. So just as a quick reminder, so the crust is the outermost layer of the earth. So it's just here right on the edge. It is the thinnest layer of the earth. It is completely solid rock. And it is our coolest part of the earth. So if you need some help remembering about your different properties of your different layers, go back and have a look at the previous video all about the structure of the earth. So we're going to be focusing today on this crust and how it is split up into oceanic and continental crust. Because in our plate boundary, the convergent plate boundary, when these two different types of crust meet, the properties within them play an important role in the formation of our tectonic hazards. Okay, so nice and simple. The oceanic crust, this is the crust that is found below the oceans, as you can see here. The continental crust is found below the continents or the land on Earth. So a really nice, easy way to remember the difference. Continental, because it has continents in the name, and oceanic, as it has oceans in the name. So we're going to have a look at some of the different properties within this today. So the first one is that the oceanic crust is more dense. So what do we mean by this word dense? So density is how many particles there are within something. So it's how compact, how hard, how heavy something is. So the oceanic crust is more dense. And the reason for this is it is being compacted by the ocean above, which is pushing down on it, compacting those particles, squashing them together. This is the most important property that you need to understand. And the reason for this is when your oceanic and your continental crust meet, because this one is more heavy, it is more dense, it sinks below your continental crust. So this is why we get our volcanoes occurring at our convergent plate boundary. When our oceanic plate, the most dense, the heaviest plate, is forced below the less dense continental crust. It is also the newest of the crust. It is much newer than your continental. So the oceans, you have your divergent plate boundaries constantly moving apart, constantly being replenished underneath the water. So it is much newer rock. However, your continental crust, your continents have been here um, since when they were all joined together in Pangaea, making this crust much more old. And it just builds up and up and up um, every time your eruptions take place. Um, oceanic crust is made from basalt, so this is the type of rock. It is an igneous rock compared to your continental crust, which is made from granite. So basalt, the way to remember this, basalt underneath the ocean, the crystals are much smaller. And that's because when your lava comes out of your volcano under the water, it cools down much more quickly. So you're going to have cool, uh, much smaller crystals. Whereas granite in people's worktops at home in your kitchen, you might have a granite worktop. These crystals are much bigger. And that's because things cool down much more slowly in the air than they do in the water which results in much larger crystals. And then finally, your oceanic is much thinner compared to your continental. And this is because it's newer. It hasn't taken as many years to build up and create this new type of rock. Okay, so hopefully this clip has helped you to be able to distinguish between the difference between our oceanic and our continental crust. As I said, you don't specifically need to know about these within your exam but you need to be able to talk about these when you are talking about your different types of plate boundaries, um, in particular, the convergent plates. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.